If you've watched any of our advanced construction videos, you've seen this tool in there. This is the sanding tee. Now, originally I bought mine more than 25 years ago and the company that made it went out of business. And since then, everybody has been asking, where do you get that sanding tee? Well, I had to go out and create a brand new one myself for Apogee Components and I'm now offering it to you, our customers. Now this T has been improved and I'll show you that in a second, but first, how do you use it? Well, you take a piece of sandpaper and this is an ordinary eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and you cut it into long strips and you just take it and you just wrap it around the T like that. Now, some people will put spray adhesive on there and stick it to it, that will work fine. Um, in the past, I've also taken just regular masking tape and put a strip down each side to hold it in place. But since I've discovered a trick, I've, I no longer tape any of them. Um, I like to use a lot of different grits of sandpaper. Here's 220 and this is 180. Um, over here, I've got about an 80 grit. It's really coarse. And the, the way I use them is I just put them on there like that and I can switch sandpapers really quick. Um, I use it, you'll notice what I do is I, I just grab it and just hold it tight like that and just using these fingers to hold it. Um, and it allows you to uh, maneuver around pretty good. So if I wanted to stack sand these fins, I just hold it like that and I'm just, as I'm holding it, I'm just kind of pressing inward with my fingers to give it some tension to hold it in place. And then you can simply sand just like that. The new improvement that I've made to this one is if you look at the end, uh, one end is flat and the other end is radiused. Now I radiused it for a reason and that's to make fillets on fins. So you wrap the sandpaper around it. Now this gives you like a, a nice thick radius there. And then I can go into my fan and I've taken um, the Elmer's fill and finish, which you've seen me use a lot in previous videos. Um, and I've, I've put that along these, the root and then I'll just take the sandpaper and go there like this and I'll get a nice radius edge in there. It's going to be perfect. Uh, where this really works really well is when you have a fin that has a streak on it, like this one here. Now normally a lot of people will use a circular file like this one here to get in there and to um, sand out those fillets. But when you get really far in, now I can't get in there anymore and, and the um, file is at an angle and then I'm gouging in. Uh, where in here, I can take this and just lay it nice and flat so I got a uniform fillet and that's the key. So it really helps when you got these long streak like fins on your rocket. So this is the Apogee Sanding Tee and you can get it here at Apogee Components. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com.